area of the Albany International Just Airport. On Albany Shaker Road. In delightful Albany, New York. Oh, ah, whoa, whoa, earthquake. Ah. Yeah, it's a wonderful long drive for work edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Or maybe I should just do it more energetic to go. Frank the Lunatic Rants! There we go. Hey, everybody! Buddy, oh my goodness, my back is killing me today. Ugh. So, what's in my world? What, what am I? What, what, what am I ranting about today? Oh my goodness! You know, I should do the rant like this. I should do the whole entire rant like this, just to entertain you. Because what do I have? Twenty-eight subscribers now, some shit like that. There you go. They need some entertainment in their life, and apparently, I'm just not enough entertainment. Or. Maybe their lives aren't it. I never know where to look with this damn thing. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, so let's see. What is it I have to rant about today? Hmm. What do I have to rant about today? Well, I've done rants before about... And yeah, excuse the shaking. It's just how I have this camera set up today. So hopefully when it goes to YouTube, it'll uh, stabilize it a little better. If not, you're just going to have to deal with the whole little earthquake effect. Anyhow, uh and raving. What are we ranting about? Oh. Oh, let's rant about fashion again. And I probably have done rants like this before, so some of this might have been repetitive. Who knows? Um, but, anyway. Men's fashion. Now that summer's here. Here's the thing about men's fashion. I don't know who thinks of these things. I really don't. Like, go online sometime and go to like, go to like Twitter and that GQ magazine, for example. They always have these things up about uh, you know, uh, things that the uh, ten outfits, ten things, or five things that a, a guy has to have this year. Or they'll even do styles of people. You know, if you're in your twenties, thirties, forties, that whole type of thing. You know, and you look, and yeah, I always click some of these links to that because I'm just really curious. I look some of these things over. I look at some of the stuff. I'm always like, what the hell? Like, really? Who picks some of this stuff out? Like, just, I don't know. Some of the patterns and colors of what these magazines say you should be wearing. What, if you're colorblind? Have absolutely... No sense of fashion whatsoever. I don't know. Some of this stuff just does not seem fashionable at all. But being that we're into uh, so, you know, summer over here, wait, let's get on to the topic of, for example, uh, summer fashion. Okay. Is it me, or like, are we suddenly being forced into living in a world in this country where? First of all, guys are supposed to be embarrassed that they look like men. I, I don't know. Like, you go shopping now. I don't care if you go to Walmart or if you go to Nordstrom's. Like, things like shorts and that, for example. They're getting longer and longer and longer. Where they actually have tags of, like, where they, how far above the knee or below the knee they are. I'm like, wasn't this originally, like, the whole fashion thing for women at one point? point where, you know, and things needed to be within a certain range of, um, like, below the knee, that whole thing couldn't be so far above the knee. Like, why is it like that for guys now? I, I, I don't understand, I don't get that. I, I don't get that. I mean, yeah, okay, the days of the Daisy Duke really short, short things are gone, but, you know, even then, hey, if you like wearing that stuff, and you look good in it, what the hell, you know, really? I, 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 like now, they have stuff out there that I swear, and I've had other people finally agree with me on this, they look like capris for men. They really do. 
like these orange shorts, they're freaking capri pants. Come on. Hey, you got shorts that are in between, somewhere, halfway in between your ankle and your knee. So they're like partially covering your calf. They're either really freaking high water type of shits, or they're capris. So you decide which phrase to use. I call them, I call them freaking capris. Because that, my friends, is what it looks like. We, we're walking around in freaking capri pants, and the best part is, these men, these guys that walk around with these pants, like, don't make a comment that they're they're capris for men, because they, they're gonna jump all over you and, and basically say, "Oh, I'm not gay" or something like that. It's like, I didn't say that. It's just that's what they are. That's what they look like. They are capris for men. I'm sorry, that's what they are. Even swimwear. You know, okay, board shorts were supposed to be a little reg longer than regular um, swim shorts. But swimwear is getting so much longer and longer and longer. It's like, why don't you just put a pair of freaking jeans on and jump in the damn water? I right, come on. Again, we're down to almost wearing capris. I mean... I don't know, me. Again, you know, I, I can see if you've got the ugliest legs on the face of the planet, but if you've got decent legs, like, what's the problem with it looking like, you know, showing that you have decent legs or something? Seriously. Now, I can see if you look like freaking McGilla Gorilla, because I'm sorry, but that's a totally different rant. Don't want to get off on a whole side thing, but if you look like McGilla Gorilla, dude, trim a little, okay? Like... When it, when it gets to a point that you can't tell if that is the material from the shorts or if that's the guy's bloody hair, there's something wrong there. I mean, it just seems to me that fashion's gotten, like, I don't know, really weird. Really weird. It, it's like, I don't know, it, Swimsuits for guys basically become the same type of thing, you know, that whole capri pan, capri look. It, it's, it's honestly getting to a point that I wouldn't be surprised 10 years from now if we're back to wearing what we wore in like the 1920s or 30s or something with the, uh, what is that, the, those whole one piece type of things that men wore one piece bathing suits because that, you know, modesty. It, it's almost, it's almost what that's like, that it's, it's a whole modesty thing now. That's just about, like, what it's trying to get to, that, you know. But it's a weird, twisted, reverse modesty. Um, and of course, as I've been saying recently, I'm not a modest person. I, 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 I don't get it. Makes no, makes no sense to me. I've actually read an article last year where they were saying how out in California, like out west, and it's and it is semi true in the East Coast too. You know, another big thing is just wearing like your jean shorts, which these, these homey jean shorts are also capris. They're just not as tight. You know, but they're really long shorts almost down to your damn ankles. Again, they're not freaking shorts. No way, shape, or form are they shorts. But they're always going to use put that name on it because they put anything else, guys out there, you know, homie G there ain't going to buy them if they put any other wording but shorts on there. But anyhow, they were saying how uh, you go out to California and that the lifeguards go crazy because there are so many guys that get stuck out there in the water because uh, they're wearing these these long jean shorts and they get bogged down because they get, it gets so water soaked that you know they, they get caught up they can't swim back to shore or shit like that they gotta rescue them yeah. we're, we're twisted on so many things really twisted on so many damn levels it isn't funny I Personally, you know, anyone my age, you look back, look back, anyone in their, uh, say, mid to late 40s, early 50s, look back, honestly, look back to uh, what you wore 
picture of what you wore when you were, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look back at pictures. If you're in your mid to late 40s, um, early 50s, look back to pictures of what you wore as a kid in, like, the mid to late 70s to the beach, or even, you know, guys in general. You wore the, you wore the square-cut bathing suits type of thing. That was perfectly acceptable. You go to a beach with something like that now, people automatically, first of all, are going to label you that you're gay if you wear something like that, which I, I don't understand how wearing a, a certain type of clothing defines you as gay, because once again, if, hey, if you've got something, if you want to show off what you have, go right ahead. To me, it's a free country. I mean, it's when you get, you know, you get ugly-ass people, or, you know, uh, or Mr. You know, 300 pound buffalo wearing one. Yes, you know, then it's like, ugh. You know? <laughs> um, that I understand. But, like, what? what's so wrong? I mean, they, and the funny thing is, they still sell them. Not in the stores. You, you can't, you, you're not going to find them in stores anywhere. Um, actual retail stores. Not going to find them. At all. It's stuff that you have, you gotta buy it online. You're not gonna find stuff like that. There's nothing bad. I mean, they're actually not, they're actually pretty comfortable. I mean, you ain't got the whole, uh, floating around of the boys type of thing, which is, uh, so common with some of the bathing suits now, or if you wear board shorts, everything gets floating around there in the ocean. You know, we're just floating around. Yeah, the whole free balling thing, which you know sometimes is not a comfortable thing, especially with some of these board shorts that are uh, a little bit on the tight end there. That can't possibly feel good. I'm sorry, it just can't. Um, you know, it, it even goes along with the whole uh, uh, what you call it, jammers. You know, a lot of swim teams are not wear them now because you don't wear speedos. It's inappropriate, or, or or schools. You know, it's inappropriate because apparently everybody out there is a potential molester or pedophile or something. I guess you know. So you, you know, <laughs> the girls can wear next to nothing. But um, it's, it's weird. It's just it's funny how things are now. Um, you know, you you. you you go to the beach, and if you do find a guy, if you do see a guy wearing something like a Speedo, it's usually, again, you know, Mr. Blimp type of thing, that it's like, Arr! And again, there's still the stereotype with that, that if you wear something like that, you must be gay. Not true. It's absolutely not true. You know, you go to other countries, you go go to countries like France, for example, any public pools, Americans are always in for a shock when they go over there, because you cannot wear American style bathing suits, men can't, guys can't, boys can't, in a public pool in France, at all. They actually have vending machines there that you go to that you can buy the Speedo if you don't have one. You're not allowed to swim in anything but a Speedo. But again, it's a different atmosphere. You know what? People are more open to stuff there. And that is judgmental because it's common to wear stuff like that. Where, you know, here we are extremely, extremely prudes and judgmental. It just seems like, um, I hate to say it, but, you know, certain religious groups and that seem to have taken over how we how we're supposed to think and dress and everything. It's gone, it's gone a little crazy again. You know, my, my point of view is if you look good at something, what's wrong with it? What's wrong? What's wrong? You know, all these people can say, oh, it's indecent, it's indecent. Really? I mean, again, God made you that way and you look good in it. What is wrong with being proud of what you look like? You know, well, we're, again, we're, we're just twisted and 
gotta, you know, to where this whole thing gotta keep up with fashion. No, you don't. These so-called experts, you ever hear the saying about experts, honestly, to how experts are like, uh, they, they failed in an area. You know, an expert in fashion is somebody that just could not dress themselves properly, or um, they were somebody that was trying to get into fashion design or something and just couldn't make it, that they were just terrible. Um, that's what these so-called experts are. But anyhow, I don't know. If you want a good laugh, you know, go to GQ online. If you're on Twitter, they usually have the links for all their little articles there. You'll get a kick at them. Some, just look at some of the stuff that they say guys should be wearing. And, and, and it's in no way, shape, or form affordable either. It's great if you're upper middle class. But the average working person, uh-uh. Ain't going out and spending, you know, $300 for a pair of sneakers or these things, you know, $250 for a pair of jeans. A polo shirt that's like over $100. For over $100. If I'm spending that much on clothing, okay, it work. <laughs> Forget about underwear. Oh my god. Yeah, it's underwear or even boxers out there they have on some of these places. You know, 60 bucks. Uh, for what it's costing you to outfit yourself according to what GQ wants you to wear. When you walk around, you better have a freaking 24 hour orgasm going on while you're wearing this clothing. Because it better be doing something for you for the amount of money you're spending on it. Anyhow, I'm Frank the Lunatic. Hi, Barma Demo. A demo? How about we redo that one? We'll cut that out. Anyway, I'm Frank the Lunatic. Hyper Armadillo approved this message, and that, my friends, is all I have to say for now about that.